hello and welcome back to my channel i know it's been such a long time since i posted but i couldn't leave you guys hanging i have a new the new iphone 15 to review for you guys now i try to catch it before like during their release but i think i was a little late so that's why it's being delivered um in november but anywho the way this over comes in this box um i had a problem with the delivery for some reason maybe because of where i moved to but um we're gonna go ahead and open this. let's get right into opening this mm. let me open it up i'm trying so hard not to show my id so it comes with just a charging I guess you have to buy your own plug-in so if you don't have a I think it's like 31 30 or 35 dollars then you kind of locked out on charging. <laughs> you kind of locked out okay it's so like flexible and it's almost made out of cloth it will get easy, it will get dirty a lot or like faster but it's almost made out of cloth where it's like if you slam a door on it or like if you bend right here it's not really gonna break it you're not gonna see the wire because it's almost like a cloth i like it it's very sleek nice but this is how it looks like i could swore i ha i got in i got the um the natural titanium but this is giving me not natural titanium let me see let me read it oh i guess it is it looks a lot um like grayer than it looks grayer than the um the website the website kind of looks more like brown but it's, you kind of get like a gray kind of feel to it Ooh, the edge is so crazy this is so nice guys like let me turn it on oh we're gonna compare it with the iphone 13 we're gonna compare the 15 with the 13 um so this right here is a 13 and this is a 15. if you look at the cameras the camera on the 15 looks a lot bigger and more like blended than the 13. if you look closely it's kind of flat and blended with the with the metal around it and the 13 more like the camera kind of pokes out I don't know if you guys could tell oh this kind of help shows a lot better it's like blended and more like sleek up here and then this kind of like the uh, outline you can kind of see the camera poke out um, and then when you turn it on obviously the island up here is definitely different than the 13 um, this is the iPhone Pro Max 15 iPhone 15 Pro Max and is a 6.7 inches and I got 
gigabytes. I think this was the smallest space it comes with, and I guess that was the cheapest. Um, it feels a lot lighter, surprisingly. It feels so much lighter. This feels a lot heavier. Oh, because it is thicker. This one's kind of thicker, and it has the same roundness, but this one, because it's more bold, it has the same roundness, but since this is more bold, it feels kind of bulkier. But this is so much like sleeker and like just fits right in your hand for it being such a big phone. It fits right in your hands very comfortably. I like it. But yeah, you can see the island right here. Now, I know the big controversy, if you're African like myself, is the e sim so the iphone 15 doesn't doesn't have a sim portal so going to africa it might be difficult from some people now this phone i'm gonna keep for work and also when i'm traveling out of the country because i do not trust more like the satellites out there working to give me like an e-sim i don't want to have a problem when i'm trying to connect to a network and it's not working which is why i trust that they have a portal now i did ask um when i called apple i did ask and i was like so what do people that are international who don't have that like kind of capacity to give you the e-sim and they're like, well, then maybe I think you sh they make phones for those countries and that you should consider purchasing from there. I don't trust it. <laughs> I don't trust it because if I buy an iPhone 15 in Ghana, I don't trust that they're going to give me the real one because there's a lot of fake phones made out there. And I personally wouldn't trust it. So I don't know for investment if somebody wants to buy more of these and sell it out there. But if you have one with SIM, I would consider keeping it just for those purposes because not everywhere you travel to is going to have that strong connection. And then it's so expensive to get 5G while you're out there with like your, the phone carrier. So definitely something to think about if you travel a lot out of the country. Something to think about. Um... And then comparing the speakers, same as the 13, um, the volume, and it's, okay, so it's more, it, it's not a switch, it's like a button. That's why I kind of turn my ringer on and off, it's more of a button, and with the 13, it was more of like a switch. So that's cool. No, overall, I am so in love with the classiness and like the, kind of like the, the, uh, it's just so turns out setting up the eSIM is very easy once you already have another iPhone. When I turned it on, it popped up about connecting a new one with my, my email because when I ordered everything, it kind of goes it paired with my email with Apple like online. So it just popped up and I click the button, follow the instruction, and then you follow it from here. And basically it's transferring everything from my old phone to the new one. I thought you have to take it in and them do something special or whatever, but not really because um, after everything is transferred with my phone number to this, the SIM in here becomes inactive. 
um, it will tell you everything on this phone as you're setting it up. So it's very easy to set up as long as you read the instructions and yeah, you'll be good to go. It's not as hard as it seems. It's just for international people. This must this might be a if little. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you like, comment, ask ask me some questions that you might have. I don't I have time. I will answer. I haven't been on YouTube in so long. So make sure you subscribe. There's more to come and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.